Welcome everybody to the AEW Power and Glory panel. Make some noise, come on guys. All right, everybody welcome Ty Conti. Sammy Guevara! Hi, Superstar. And Darby Allen! Yeah. Oh, shit. Are you going to be in the frame? No, thanks. There you go, Superstar. You're in the frame. No, thanks. Darby You're in the frame now. Right, guys, the stars of AEW, everybody. And, and elevation, say and elevation. <laughs> he says and elevation. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, are you guys having a good time at Terrificon over here? Huh? Oh, us? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I gotta ask you guys, uh, so, when AEW started, it was awesome. There was a huge amount of people coming out to the shows. And then we had COVID hit, and you had to do, uh, you know, smaller audiences for a while. And now you're finally able to be here in front of your fans. How's that going for you guys? Oh, man, it's, uh, I've definitely missed you guys. I think everybody up here, we miss the fans. Re professional wrestling uh, is not just what we do in the ring. I feel like the fans are just as much a part of it. So I'm super excited that you guys are back. Yay. When they didn't have um, uh, full arenas for AEW, they had a lot of your peers come out and cheer you guys on. Uh, was that extra, extra pressure? Did that feel weird or anything? Like, did it feel the same? Are you guys used to that? What do you think, Darby? Was it? I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I don't know. Either. Everybody just seemed fake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're all like, yay. And I was like, shut up, you don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have that or a bunch of TV screens? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's We've cool. never done the TV screen. No, no, that's oh, good. Yeah. I, I think it's a good idea. I, I, love, uh, <laughs> I love having at least some energy there. And you could tell that people were into it. I, I don't think you guys ever came out and had anybody not feeling you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, so... We're super lucky to have uh, some awesome wrestlers up here today. I, I feel like when you watch um, uh, Sammy and Darby's matches, particularly on the roster, uh, it feels very dangerous. <laughs> like, you see, you see Darby's gonna wrestle, you see Sammy's gonna wrestle, you're like, I hope there's nothing tall nearby or something like that. True. How, how do you psych yourself up going out there? Is, is that something that you even think about, uh, Darby? Wait, competing against him? No, like, no, not competing <laughs> against him. No, I mean like, uh, you know, yeah, you kind of do anything it takes to win, and you go out there and, uh, you know, <laughs> jumping off of, you know, side of buildings. And no, to me it's therapy to go do that. If, I'll do it on my free time anyways, like where I'm like at my house or I'm skating, I'll do crazy stuff anyway. So go out there on national TV, and then it's, it's therapy to do that. That's and, uh, cool. There was a while, like me and him were back and forth over the summer, like, try to top my crazy stuff and then he'd be like try to top mine and then we we're and by the end of the summer we were thinking someone was gonna get hit by a car <laughs> yeah i think he's ahead of me right now at double or nothing uh, it's the same stampede i try to jump off the stadium again and i also try to jump out of a helicopter jesus they kiboshed everything unfortunately <laughs> so i think darby's beating me right now but we'll see what i do next well you, you got him on golf carts i guess so yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Watch your mouth. There's kids around here. So, uh, so when uh, Darby, when you have especially pay-per-view matches and things still like that, I see that they're having you come out and uh, have special intros that you make. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, like, uh, is that something that you just entirely do on your own, or do you present it, and then, then they let you bring your own stuff? I do it all on my own. Like, there's nothing. I just finish it and do it on my own and say, hey, put this on, and that's pretty much it. 
<laughs> do they usually just go, oh, yeah, that's cool or whatever? Yeah, they don't. Yeah. There's no pushback on anything. Oh, that's so awesome. That's uh, cool. have, so they never, you never had anything where they're like, oh, no, that doesn't fit our show or not fit it in or anything cool like that? No. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome, man. It, it adds to unique things for you, man. Um, yeah, uh, I just had a few questions for Darby in a row here, if you don't mind. Um, well, I'll, I'll take a seat back. <laughs> you don't have to take a seat back. I got some for you, too. I have some for Ty. So, uh, you know... I just, um, I've seen some other cool videos online of you, uh, stuff like um, you doing a unique trick contest with Tony Hawk. Um, did you, were you familiar with him or did you know him before coming to AEW? Uh, yeah, I filmed stuff for him in 2011 when I was skateboarding like full time. And uh, all these years later, he saw the clip of me at AEW jumping with the thumbtack skateboard onto Janela's back at the first All Out. Yeah. And he's like, oh, like shit, that guy like was from 2011, just like some crazy skater in Seattle. And then he's like, he's crazy. So then I asked him to be part of AEW's like one of these videos I was filming and he was down. So I don't know, we knew each other, but we like, you know, got cooler once, you know, we started filming more stuff, so. That's cool. I I know um, I run a video game store, and uh, I was convinced convinced you were going to be a secret character in the Tony Hawk game. You think we might get that one day? You don't have to confirm. I anything. don't. I don't. I really don't know. Like anything is so random. I, but I feel like with those video games, those the skaters that are in the Tony Hawk games are such like amazing skaters. I feel like it's a privilege to be that, and I don't think I should be in there with those people because they're like legit you know what i mean like yeah. i'm just some crazy dude so. <laughs> well i mean i think that you have um a lot of unique fans and that has a lot of value to them to add you in the game i mean they've had like spider-man and the ninja turtles in their game i don't see anything wrong with heaven wait do they have yeah they do oh well screw that i'll it, be in the game there you go <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just skaters. Uh, they, they do, but you can unlock stuff. I'd love to see them unlock Darby Allen and you know, have a coffin drop in there with you. That'd be cool. Um, all right. Uh, oh, actually, on that, uh, you were the first person that had footage released other than the, the first video of the new AEW game. Uh, I'm sure they showed you that or something. But did, did they show you that? Did you check that out? I did, they didn't be like, yo, here. I, I found out on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, I just thought that was cool, like, after all this time doing uh, different shows, to be part of a game. A lot of us grow up playing wrestling games and to see yourself come to life like that, you know? To be honest, man, I haven't played a video game since 2007, so. <laughs> that's all good. We won't tell them when the but new I'm game very, comes out. But I'm very hyped to yeah. be part of something like that just because I know how big of a deal. Like, I, it goes back to the Tony Hawk games. Yeah. When that came up, there were so much people that picked up a skateboard from that game. So it's, it's cool to be a part of something that powerful. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. And I think that, you know, my friends that wouldn't maybe not watch AEW will play the games with me. And they'll learn who you guys are. And, like, and they can start wrestling in their backyards. They might, <laughs> a lot of people, I think, and maybe even including people up here, probably did that too. Um, all right. Uh, well, um, I had some questions for Sammy too. You, um, you got to be in the first televised match on Dynamite. How was that, dude? It was a trip, man. I mean, it was the first uh, time wrestling was on uh, TNT in 19 years, and I'm the first match, so a lot of pressure because uh, this is the start of something new, something different, and uh, all eyes were on Cody and I that first match. So I think we delivered. I, I tried my best, didn't go my way. Um, but we'll see what happens in the rematch. And then later that night, you joined the inner, inner circle. Yeah. The awesome group of dudes. How, how's that been? Just uh, your, your group has stayed together for so long. Uh, you know, they're not, you know, one minute these guys are together, the next minute they're gone. You had a little tease, and you were the one that saved the day after everything recently, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, the group itself is, uh, it's been such a trip and it's been a blessing to be a part of this. I think, uh, what, what would I be doing if I wasn't in the inner circle? And uh, luckily, we'll never have to know. Um, and the fact that we've been together for almost two years now, like a lot of other products, they'll start a group, month later, they're done. 
two months later they break up or whatever like the fact that for two years strong now we've been together uh, just shows a lot of faith in AEW in the inner circle in Jericho and in all of us awesome man um, so Ty um, I saw that you participated in the uh, Olympic trials for uh, uh, judo um, what was that like being competing at that level and uh, having all the people you know working so hard to get to that level hi everyone <laughs> Yeah, that was a little bit insane, but that was my whole life. I started in judo was seven. I have like a different path from those guys. Uh, I didn't know wrestling to 2016 when I got hired by the other company. So yeah, that was insane, but that was my whole life. That was um, my career in Brazil. And I couldn't make it, and that's how I got my tryout in WWE. Yeah. They saw that I lost the tryouts for the Olympic Games. And they, they invited me for a tryout in WWE, and I was like, well, let's do it. That's awesome. Did you uh, feel like all your preparation for the Olympic trials could translate well into, you're kind of starting something over. I mean, wrestling's not easy by any means. Yeah, for sure, but judo helped me a lot. I feel like that's a lot of my style. I can like put in wrestling, and then it's just like when something bad happens in your life, it's for the best sometimes. And then here I am today, so I'm grateful for it. That worked out awesome. I know that like these guys, they were saying they're doing indie shows and all, all over the place. Um, you know, uh, my friend outside was mentioning Darby was in uh, New England wrestling. Um, your first match was at WrestleMania Access. <laughs> how, how did that feel? Well, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, literally no idea. <laughs> and I, I had zero English back then, so that was even harder to communicate and then understand what I was doing. So today, that when I look back, I'm super grateful because I had a great opportunity that people work for years to have it. And then I worked hard too, don't get me wrong, but in a different word. And then... I'm grateful. Today I'm super grateful for it because I got in a great position in wrestling. Yep. Like, right in my first match, I was able to do WrestleMania and then now I'm in a big stage again with AEW, so I'm just grateful. That's awesome. Do you uh, feel like you're allowed to do a lot more input since you've been in AEW or learning different things like your moves and stuff like that as you're getting more experience? Yeah, I feel like we have more freedom. I, I do. I have way more freedom than I had before. I feel like I can be myself without be asking a lot of questions and then asking for permission a lot just to be me. I got to be me and then I feel it translates in the ring because I'm way happier now. That's cool. Do you guys feel like you're allowed to do kind of like your own signature flair on different matches? Oh, 100%. I do whatever, you know? Yeah. I'm still in Darby's answer. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. <laughs> That's Larry, I, I just launched uh, some new vlog crew merch on SammyGavard.com. You know, the other place wouldn't allow that. Hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's huge, man. Yeah. Uh, your so vlog's go, awesome. Go pick it up. <laughs> um, speaking of opportunities, I don't know if you're allowed to talk about this. Oh, uh, shit. Is, is, is Darby going to be in a movie soon? Are we hearing rumors? Yeah, the rumors. This is rumors. <laughs> uh, if you haven't heard, there's some rumors online. He might be in the new Jackass movie, which I think is awesome. I mean, like, yeah. It's not true though. It's not. No, stop. Playing. It's not true. It's not true. No, I was hanging out with Stevo, and people thought I was like actually gonna be in the movie, and then I said, "Yo, by the time anything could have happened, the contracts were already done. So yeah. I, I can't like legally do it. Oh, so like, that's, that's the thing. But uh. Yeah. But they, were you just doing like stupid stuff with C, uh, Steve O, like not for film or? Yeah, just for fun, <laughs> I guess. So. That's Bro, awesome. have you seen this guy's Instagram? He'd just be jumping off of bridges it's for crazy. no reason. Uh, listen, He's, he I, should be in the Jackass movie. <laughs> I was excited to see that and uh, a little bit disappointed to learn that. No, we got, we got some other huge projects coming up, and I okay. think everything happens for a reason. So once uh, everything works out in the future, you'll see why it's for the best. That's, that's awesome. I mean, hopefully, it's really cool when you can do things for yourself, um, but if you can get more attention or, you know, even get paid for stuff, it's, it's awesome. So, 
Uh, I think I even saw you on a video like climbing like power lines and stuff like that in California or was it in California? Did you do that? That was not me. That was, that was Jungle not Boy. You? That, was that was Jungle Boy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks a lot uh, different. Yeah, no, I still didn't expect you to do, man. Yeah, you like, guys got similar hair. It was it was yeah, a while ago. Yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm sorry, man. Well, <laughs> apologize. Yeah, no, uh, I'm sorry. Blasphemia. <laughs> no, there we go. There it is. There it goes. You know what? I'm done. No. <laughs> um, no, and then you do stuff like the the thumbtacks and the skateboard we talked about earlier and things like that. Um, you know, being handcuffed for half a match. That, that's just crazy, man. Like, is, is that just over time you're thinking of stuff, like, let's try these different things? Yeah, it's just, it's fun to try, like, new things in wrestling because I feel like a lot of wrestlers are very boring with their, like, it's like repetition. Yeah. It's like they've been doing the same stuff and same moves and everything. So I was like, yo, let's just do some, something crazy and different. So just think outside the box that we have all that create for AEW, so... I think that's the big difference for me watching your show of, uh, you know, the weekly matches, everyone feels special. You always feel like something different could happen, someone could try a new move, pull out something they used to do that aren't doing anymore, so uh, that's super cool. Um, and then, you know, you even had like uh, Ethan Page follow you over here and start some stuff. Uh, you feel like they're more open to acknowledging your past over here in AEW? Um, like, there's, it feels like it's one big universe now. Yeah, no, it's nice, especially with the Ethan Page thing, because when I first got in wrestling, he was wrestling for like 10 years, and then we had a feud on the independence, and that's why like, he like broke my elbow with a shovel on accident. And then, uh, <laughs> I got a metal plate in, and then like there's like this huge dent in my head. Oh my you can't God. tell, because there's like makeup, but like I have it, and every, every time I get done wrestling, someone's like, yo, did you get hit in the head? I'm like, no, nah, it's been there for like four years. Like, <laughs> A while ago. <laughs> so it, it's cool to uh, bring what we've done on the independence to the big, like on national TV, the main event. It was crazy. And that coffin match, I was ready to lay it all on the line. And, uh, you know, we killed it. It was fun. It was awesome, man. Uh, did you guys like the coffin match? That was incredible. I love that they acknowledge that stuff and it makes it feel like, you know, the continuity of. I watched all this indie stuff and it, it was worth it. It comes over to the main show and, and uh, you know, it's almost like how you'd watch Iron Man and then watch Avengers and like, oh, I've been following Sammy for all these years and then he shows up and this guy from his past shows up and you're like, oh, what's going on? So I, I really like that storytelling. I think a lot of people do. Um, and one of those things that got brought over is your vlog, man. Um, you've been doing that forever. Are you guys like watching his vlog? Yeah, there we go. I'm filming for it right now, so make some noise. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's a powerful thing, man. And I, do you feel like that got you attention to get signed to AEW? Um, no. <laughs> That's fair. You were awesome. But I mean, the too. vlog has helped me along the way, just like with interacting with uh, fans and whatnot. People got to know the more real me. Um, and the whole goal with it was just to try to document my, uh, my journey to the top and try to inspire people to do the same. So uh, I think we've done that to it for a few people and uh, that, that makes me very proud of the thing that we've made. Yeah, I know a lot of people were asking me to ask you about Fuego uh, Del Sol and how you know, everyone's loving him on, on your vlog. and Yeah, he's like way too over. I'm gonna have to start burying him. <laughs> Jesus. That's awesome. Uh, so t <laughs> that's awesome. You're gonna bury him. That's terrible. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You you watch this stuff and it kind of gives you a little bit of a insight in your friendships and like how you act to people and you know. Yeah. So it's funny. Like uh, in 2016, I was trying to get my channel to grow, so I was just writing a bunch of backyard channels. And Foyer used to do backyard wrestling, so I wrote his channel. I was like, hey, you know, uh, give my channel a shout out. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll like get you booked in some show in Texas. And I yeah. ended up doing that. Little did we know, here we are five years later, and now he's booked in AEW, you know. Uh, so you never know. So I think I paid him back, is what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> I think so, man. I bet he, get a lot, he gets a lot of gigs just from the, the publicity you've given him, and, and AEW, of course, with uh, being stuck in Daily Space. I can't so wait long. to sue him and take like 50%. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's what Matt Hardy always, already does yeah, to people yeah. is he takes a little bit more from you guys, but I'll get you popular. <laughs> um, uh, so, Ty, you're, uh, you had an incredible match with uh, Sheeta a couple months ago. Uh, how did that feel to have so many people saying positive things online? Oh, well, that was one of the best matches that I had. I'm super new in the business. I don't have the same experience as those crazy guys right here, but I'm learning a lot just to be able to work with them. But then, uh, Shira is amazing. I have a great relationship with her too. So our chemistry in the ring was pretty easy and good, yep. super easy to work with. So I think we had, we both, after the match, we had a conversation and we were just like super happy about it because we got the best from each other. Yep. And I'm proud <laughs> when I watch the match because as I said, I'm super new. So I was still learning a lot, and that was a great match. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Did you guys like that match? <laughs> yeah. I think you got her number next time. Uh, something else that's been going on cool with you is being uh, involved with the Dark Order a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and you've been able to have uh, Negative One come out with you as your manager. Like, uh, I feel like every time they give him a shot of doing something, he knocks it out of the park. It's really, it makes it fun to watch as a fan just to see something different. Uh, how, how did you kind of approach getting to that point of having it come out like almost every time with you now? He's a little angel and I'm so lucky to have him. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, <laughs> he is with he me. He walks around backstage hitting people with chairs. <laughs> oh Not me though. <laughs> Not me. Little angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. He's super protective. Like when someone say pronounce my names wrong, he gets mad. <laughs> he calls me like he FaceTimes every single day. Awesome. Yeah, like we got such a nice connection. I love kids. I have such, um, I have a little um, sister. So I miss her so much. She's back in Brazil. So maybe that's why I get, every time I see a kid, I get so excited. Yeah. And I think that's what happened with him because they're about the same age. Yeah. And then after everything happened, we just like made a connection with each other. And he's like my little brother. It, it comes off really nice. You can see on TV and it's really cool. Thanks. Um, so uh, also uh, Anna Jay, you worked with her a lot, your tag team. Um, what do you think is going on with her future coming uh, back? She's going to be happy to see you having fun with all her old friends there? Yes, I miss her a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure she's going to be back soon. She's doing well with her injury. Um, I can't wait for her to be back so we can have some tag mats and then maybe, who knows, we get a chance to go for uh, a title in another company or AW can create our own tag title. So <laughs> I'm hope for that. Do you guys want to see a girl's tag titles, women's tag yes. titles? <laughs> All right, so I, Darby, I got to ask you, a week from Friday, do you have anything going on? Are you doing anything? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know better. Shut up. I know better. I know better. Well, I can tell you that uh, three, at least three Dynamites have been main evented by you that have had over a million viewers. That's incredible. If we're going to have someone have the right pr uh, position, I've already sold 10,000 tickets to that show on you giving a uh, mean look at the camera, I think. Uh, is that feeling good, man? Are people, people seem to be believing in you, dude. I just think uh, it's really good to have the fan support, especially after the whole pandemic and being shut down in Jacksonville. Uh, it felt, felt, feels real great to be back on the road, and we've been performing in, like, sold-out houses, you know, yeah. and it feels, feels really good and refreshing. So when you hear these numbers, it's like validation for the whole team's, like, hard work. So, like, I'm just part of this team. And it, it feels good to be in those main events and like drawing numbers, yeah. But like from start to finish, the whole team's got to you know do their part. So it feels good um, for the fans to be hyped on AEW as a whole because I really feel like we're picking up steam and think you know even being backstage, it's like really exciting because you don't know what's gonna happen. One week yeah. there's a coffin match, and the next week dudes making pizza out of someone's head. So <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's cool. It's exciting to be back there, you know, because even as a performer, you're curious what's going to happen on the show. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Are you guys excited for the next, like, six months of AEW? I, I don't think I've been this excited since, like, original ECW. I genuinely mean that. Every time you guys put, go out there, there's something new. Uh, you know, they're pulling people like Hoovy, like out of nowhere, to fight Chris Jericho is incredible. I, I love what you guys are doing, and I think our, the fans appreciate the unpredictability too. Um, hey, wait, do you guys want Charlie Ramon to have a match? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who do you want him to wrestle? Just yell it. Who, me? Marco? <laughs> All right. Your boy, MJF. My boy? <laughs> Fuck MJF. <laughs> you just want that match. Thank you. I, I was pretty psyched. A lot of people were saying, you guys, uh, you two, MJF and Jungle Boy were like the four biggest right out the block huge stars right away from AEW. Um, out of the two of you, who do you think has the biggest potential here to be the biggest star? What do you Look think? Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> hey, say that the other guys suck. <laughs> nah, man, I think we all bring something different to the table. Uh, Jungle Boy, he's very uh, talented in the ring. Darby, he's an enigma to himself. Me, I'm the best ever. Uh, <laughs> Max, uh, Max is just a giant piece of shit. So he's really good at that. But uh, no, we're the four pillars and we're the future of the biz. <laughs> All right. I, I think so as well, man. Well, uh, we're going to be able to take some fan Q&A here. Um, if you guys are interested or have a question, if you could raise your hand. All right. I will come over here. We had the microphone set up down here, and All then right. I had to move it. So I'm not you guys, so I'm not going to jump off that. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Cough and drop. <laughs> just, just go? Is that how it works? Yeah, you just go. <laughs> I can't do that. All right. Uh, you have a question for these guys? What's up, man? What's your name? Mm -hmm. yeah. My name is Nick. Hi, Nick. So this question is more for Sammy. Since you are a big uh, Courage fan like I am, mm -hmm. how do you think you would fare in a match with King Ramses? I think you can put me up against... Uh, I think you can put me up against him, anybody, Jesus, and I'd, I'd knock them all out. <laughs> all right, who else got a question? You got, if you can come up here, that'd be great. I'd get a, a little bit of a limited you go too fucking range here. What's your name, man? Jeff. Jeff, what's your question, dude? My question is for you, Ty. When are you in Dark Order just going to make it official? Oh, my God. That's a good question. I will, yeah, I will, no, not officially. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I can ask Tony. I think it's about time. <laughs> hey, Tony, can I be in the dark water, please? Please, can you give my answer? <laughs> it's been seven months. <laughs> All right, you have a question? Come over here. What's your name, man? Hello, I'm Steven. Nice to see you guys. Uh, I guess my question is two parts. Each of you, at one point, has been worked or mentored by someone that has at least had 15 years experience, what is the one piece of wisdom you have gained from them that you did not have before joining AEW that you now carry with you? And what do you all each personally hope to see AEW achieve in the next five years? I would say the biggest wisdom or advice is you could fail doing something that isn't you, so you might as well fail being yourself, so just do it your way and don't listen to anybody, and that's what I do, and I think that's what Sammy does. Maybe Sammy does a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, what I'd like to see in, like, five years is I don't, I really, you know, just Sammy Gavar, world champion. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I love that he laughed, though, when he said it. Like, 
Uh, my biggest advice was uh, for pretty much when I started training, Booker T told me, um, suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. No. Um, no, he just told me, like, if the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to go out there and have a bad match, your life's going to be okay. Basically, don't take things super seriously. Take it seriously, but don't go crazy. Um, and I remember that to this day. Here we are, 11 years later. Come on, you got the pressure now. <laughs> You're last. No, I feel like um, because I'm, I was not used to this word, um, my coach back in NXT once told him, like, don't be ashamed to be yourself. Because of my English, my accent, and everything, I was always too shy to talk. And I, I talk a lot when I'm around like people that I'm comfortable with. But I get nervous to talk with fans and talk to people. I was like nervous back there. <laughs> but he told me like, don't be ashamed to be yourself. Like, don't be ashamed to say that you don't know something or that you need to learn. So inside the ring is the same thing. I'm new, I need to say that I'm learning, and then I need to work to get where I am, I, I want to be, so. That's all awesome advice. Yeah. You have a question? Come on up here, bud. Oh, the champ. Hey, what's your name? My name is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> I'm, uh, do you think you're ever gonna challenge for the title? Which one? Uh, any title. No, he's too bad. <laughs> Which human? But all of us? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. That Make some noise for Daniel, everybody. Yeah, Come on. that was a great question. That was a great question. I oh, would no. say for me, Daniel, out of, um, I would like to just go back for the TNT championship. I don't, I'm not really focused on the uh, heavyweight championship because that don't mean anything to me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I know that's his plan, but that's also my plan, <laughs> is I'm going to beat the shit out of Miro. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, well, I'm number two in the ranking right now, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to go see Dr. Britt Baker soon. It's getting close. Anyone else have any questions? All right, I'll take uh, Ghostbusters back here. Oh no, I wanna go there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the wrong ballroom, dude. Okay, the next ballroom over. I need you to make sure everything's safe. All right. Make some noise for this costume. I love this cosplay and stuff. Uh, Charlie, how is everybody doing tonight? How you doing? Hold on, we're trying to make Daniel feel good. No worries. Daniel. Oh man. I thought they were playing. I turned around and they were gone. And I, I thought was like, they were going to attack him. Those, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to sneak up on the guys, bro. I get a little scared. Just, yeah. I was like, they're ghosts now. <laughs> That's okay. That was, make some noise for Daniel and these guys. I just want to say, for, first of all, not everybody would do that type of thing. You guys are awesome. Class acts over here. Yeah. No, Daniel's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Let's hear it for Daniel. 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 Yes. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what was your question, dude? So, thanks, guys, first of all, for coming out. My question, pretty simple. A lot of amazing teases on Wednesday. I know Darby probably had the one that broke the internet the most, if that's a, if that's a thing. But... You guys work with Sting, Jericho, the amazing women's division. Who from the outside, working right now, not working right now, I don't care what company they're in, who do you want to wrestle and think you could absolutely tear down the house with in a main event of any show? Who would you want to, again, Magic 8-Ball, you get to pick your opponent. Who is it and why? Well, I've been saying it for a while. I'm going to kick Will Ospreay's ass. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I want to see that. I have no clue. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> the honesty, though. I like it. Just anyone. Yep. I, I would say Asuka. Oh. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. That would be fun. That's a good pick. Thank you. They'll fight the Saving coast. the day. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, who else has some questions over here? Uh, how about the guy in the red shirt, blood and guts shirt over here? How's it going, man? Uh, what's your name? Um, Tristan. What's up? Um, I'm gonna ask the, at least for all of you, I'm gonna ask the question everyone's thinking. Um, what's the deal with CM Punk? <laughs> huh? Why, is he going somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Huh? I heard nothing about it. You can't, you can't believe everything you read online, dude. Yup. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's so fucking that's bullshit. <laughs> oh, this is fine. All right, let's do it with the hat back here. <laughs> I know, it's a long ways. So they were going to have us in the other room, and then they switched the rooms, and I only got three mics up here, and the other no, mic was anyways. You're doing great. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Jazar. Uh, <laughs> I have a question uh, for Darby. What's, your, um, what's the hardest skate trick? That you've ever that you've ever accomplished. I would say when um, is at my friend Dalton's house. I had a video of it. It was on Dynamite. When I uh, went up, got into a stall, jumped on this top platform, and backflipped back onto the skateboard. It was pretty hard. It was scary because I thought like I was gonna like hit my face on the <laughs> the ramp and stuff like that. But it worked out, and I, I was super I was super hyped on it. Either that or when. Um, I was skating with Tony Hawk and I had this ladder set up and I was like jumping off the part of the ladder. So uh, he was gonna get there, but uh, he broke his hand earlier in the week. So he told me, he's like, yeah, I can't make it. So I was trying to jump off this ladder for three hours, just eating shit. And then he called me, he's like, yo, I'm actually coming today. And I was like, oh, so when he showed up, I was like, dude, I gotta make sure I land this quick. I can't waste this time. <laughs> So I landed it like first try once he showed up. So I think he gives me superpowers. <laughs> you know, so. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Did you think about that? <laughs> All right, who else has got some questions here? Uh, how about this uh, person in the middle right here? Uh, come on down. Come on down. All right. <laughs> I think I said the wrong theme song. Trying to make sure I call some people from the back of the room too. Yeah. You know, I gotta take care yeah, of everybody. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? My name is Shiloh. Quick question for Sammy. Don't know how quick it's gonna be actually. Um, remember Let's that go time into you were detail. like, yeah. Remember yeah. that time you were like really going to town with like Matt Hardy and stuff like that, and then he did that thing where he fell and it was really scary. What yeah. was going through your head? Um, <laughs> probably like it was probably just one word. It was just fuck. It's <laughs> 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 just over and over. No. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, hold on one second. Charles Ramon's calling us. Okay. Please tell him that he's on. Charlie, you're going to be on speakerphone, so don't say anything bad. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Talk. What up? Can you hear him? <laughs> Ask Charlie a question. What's happening? Wait, you're here right now? The champ. That's the champ. Charlie, yeah. Charlie, we're at a, we're at a, we're at a pan. The people's champ is on the phone. Just made that <laughs> yeah, we're on a panel. I don't know. I wasn't ready for this. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Talk again, Charlie. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think we realized how well this would work. <laughs> All right, you got a question? So ask him a question. I, I don't know. Um, uh, I had one question ready coming. to go. Um, That's fine. Else? <laughs> um, but I'm OK. Hey, thank you for the question. Thank you. Yes. Does anyone here have a question for Charlie? He's on the phone. He's waiting. Now, don't, don't get too nervous. Don't all come up at once. Charlie, how'd you make this phone cosplay as ridiculous? What was this right. question, please? <laughs> I was making a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, this guy has a question for Charlie. Right, we'll call. Wait. Does he? You do not hang up, Charlie. Don't hang up, Charlie. We have okay. someone coming. I'm allowed to say something mean. It's a question for all of you, really, but okay. you can answer first. Okay. Hold on, this is Andre the Giant. <laughs> Andre! I know there's a stigma with using other wrestlers' finishes. If you had no kickback or repercussions whatsoever, whose finish would you like to do? You hear that, Charlie? 
What was the, the final part of that question? He said you suck. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what finisher would you do if you could do any finisher? Without any repercussions. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably do this really cool move. Five knuckle shuffle. I just made that up. Five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all I got. Maybe something like a rock bottom, something like that. There's just all these cool names I've always had written down <laughs> that I create on my own. Name another one, dude. <laughs> no, I'd probably go with like the tube stone pile driver. Um, I'd go with like uh, maybe a five star frog splash. Stuff like that, you know, little, little stuff. That Sweet you made up. Music. Just all this shit that I've written down. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Ramone, everybody. Let's hear for Charlie on the phone. I'm not. All right, Charlie. I'll, I'll talk to you later, man. All right. All right. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye. All right. Let's hear for Andre the Giant here. That's incredible. We didn't answer his question. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. He's asking. He's asking you guys as well. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Sammy, I have a question for you while we're thinking about Please. this. Please. If you had a move called Go to Hell that's very similar to another move. <laughs> like a what? Like whose move? I, I don't know. I, just would you be worried about anybody showing up to... To, to, like, to what? Like Kenta or anybody showing up to... And tell me what? And, and, and just tell you like, hey man, like... That, that's that's my thing. What's going on? Dude. Like we should have a match for the move see, or something. See, he's trying to start I shit. I know you that's, see that's it. That's the whole thing he's here to do. I'm here You're to make the next six like, months amazing on TV. Oh my god! No, uh, the moves are different. GTS, GTH, whatever. They're different moves. Uh, they're that, totally this different. Guy I agree. Is, is, I agree. He's wanting it. Oh, he's gonna ask something bad. <laughs> yeah, he's whispering. whispering. Say it in the mic. <laughs> Say it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Oh, uh, there he goes. He's gonna say it. All right, all, right, all right, here we go. You used to wear a panda head to the ring. One of the most famous YouTube videos was the sneezing panda. I can imagine you doing some sort of headbutt combination, hopefully safer than Shibata, bless him, called the sneezing panda. <gasps> <laughs> See? Yes. I love it. I agree. I'm happy. Imagine the marketing possibilities with it. You're right. He's printing money for you, Sammy. All right, how about you, Ty? Who's, whose move would you steal? Yeah, Ty, answer. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> he talks about... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say okay. that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, okay. Now nah, he just said what I'm doing, so... <laughs> Uh, did you answer the question, Darby? No, nah, I, I would say some. T I'm trying to think like some type of submission, something like that. Like I always like a big fan of submissions and stuff, but I couldn't. I couldn't name just one. Uh, yeah, but uh, cause I ain't, I ain't picking anybody up. So. As, actually, to be fair, how hard is it to find unique things to do when you know there's a huge amount of wrestlers out there and you know everybody does unique stuff? Is that tough? Um, well, for me. They can all try to do what I do, but ain't nobody gonna do it like I do it, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, anyone else have some questions here? All right, how about this guy right here? There we go. <laughs> What's your name, man? What was it like when you first met Sammy for you, Chris Jericho, and Darby for you, Sting? Um, I met him at the Las Vegas uh, press conference. Uh, before double or nothing such a cool guy and they uh cody told me the story with jericho there of how jericho is the one who basically brought me in saw me wrestle at nwa 70 and uh, i used to do co-breakers in my backyard so the whole experience was so overwhelming just the press conference going to AEW. then i'm being told chris jericho was like we need to bring him in i was just like oh fuck thanks <laughs> well, yeah <laughs> I remember watching that press conference and I wasn't even hired yet and I was so pissed off just watching it and like seeing him get announced and I was like, what? You were not <laughs> We came up on the indies to, like together and I saw him and I was like, that guy? Oh, God. When am I going to get a contract? <laughs> dude, you were signed to Evolve, dude. Yeah. Come on. Was there a certain instance where you got called, Darby? Like, was it a cool thing or they come up to you or what? 
What for AEW or yeah. Sting? Uh, for 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 joining AEW, sorry. Um, I'm gonna answer his question real quick. Um, what was that? What was that? That was weird. Um, with Sting, it was uh, it was cool. <laughs> for Sting, it was cool because uh, I I didn't meet him till like pretty much you know an hour or two before we went out there, and uh, all he he didn't know much of me at the time but he just knew my promo videos and the one I showed him was me running my friend over with a car so he's like I'm gonna be in good hands with this guy <laughs> he was cool he's open to anything he's a he's a real great dude so all right guys I've been telling um uh, hearing that we're pretty much hitting time here um do you guys have any last statements that you want to say uh do you want to come back? Do you ever think you could do a show at Mohegan Sun? We have a huge arena here. We'd love that. Yeah. I'd be down. You know, I'd, I'd be down to go anywhere where like the fans are going to be hyped and wild. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, my ending statement is uh, by the end of 2021, Sammy Guevara is going to be a fucking champion. Let's go. Statement. Let's go. No, I just want to say thank you, everybody. That was amazing what to a be baby here. Face. <laughs> no, I'm a good person, and you were not. That's wow. the difference. Did y'all see her? Just never mind. <laughs> say it. Yes. Yeah, see, I am a baby. She she doesn't watch the Prada. <laughs> no, I just want to show her. <laughs> Dude, I'm done. Eating the microphone. No, I'm not eating the microphone. <laughs> That's what we all came here to hear. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it's been a fun time. I want to go go Oh shit! Make some noise for the wrestlers of AEW. Come on. This is John Glover, and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lionel Luther recommends it. Ah, have some fun. Follow your fandom.